What's up guys, Jared here, Paintbrush Samurai. What comes to your mind when you hear the word artist? Alright, besides the fact, you know, of art, obviously, what kind of person comes up into your head? For most people, it's probably some unathletic, wimpy looking, feminine person who's more like a hippie who spends his time drawing nature all day, right? Not really the typical badass alpha male type character, right? I think we could all agree that the most common portrayed image of an artist is somebody who's pretty weak physically, but has a great skill to draw. Is kind of a nerd, right, if you will. And uh, I just don't think that's really true of great artists. All right. Now, I would agree that most commonly so, this is the kind of artist that you could find. All right. The kind that really is not that intimidating or manly or buff or masculine or, you know, a badass. Mostly uh, kind of aloof, fairy like individuals. All right. That's probably a pretty, um, pretty common artist theme. But if you look at the really great ones, all right, these guys were excellent in all areas of their life. Not just art. Art was just a part of it. It's all connected for them. They get it. They succeed everywhere. They work on the triangle of greatness, not just one area. All right. Now, Da Vinci once said that a, a master painter does it all in his mind, not with his brush. What did he mean by this? Right? The hard part in painting or drawing or creating is understanding. It's learning how to see. It's learning how to portray what you want to portray. And of course, having something to portray. So if we understand that art comes from our mind and not just from our brush or our pencil, then we must also understand that if you have a weak body, you will also have a weak mind, right? The two are connected. All right, there's a reason that people for thousands of years, the greatest thinkers in the world have been recommending movement, all right? Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, the big three right there. These guys constantly were encouraging people to take walks. That was the best way of thinking because when you get your body moving, your heart pumping, get more oxygen to your brain, and you're able to think more clearly. You're able to think better thoughts, be more creative, all right? In fact, Socrates and Aristotle gave all their lectures like on the move. They were like, all right, class time, let's go. And they just left. And then they, there's, they, they didn't just sit down like, okay, we're going to study now. Here's what I got to say. It was like, come on, come on, let's take a walk, let's take a walk. All right, now that's not quite rigorous exercise, but definitely is related, all right? If you are able to build a strong physique, this will toughen you mentally as well. Mentally in all areas, you'll be able to endure longer durations of focus, handle more stress, get more done, be more productive, have more energy. All right, these are all benefits of weightlifting or any exercise, really. All right, so do artists even lift? Well, I would say most don't, but I'd say the true artists, the real great ones, they got it. They understood it. All right. You want to look at uh, Osamu Tezuka, right? I've mentioned him a couple times now. Known as the god of manga. No big deal, right? Created the first animation on television in Japan. No big deal. All right, this guy was known for being able to do handstand push-ups. He was also, by the way, a medical doctor. So he had time to become a doctor, become the world's most famous manga artist, and really good at animation, and was able to do handstand push-ups. So even guys like this found time for working out. All right, who else? What about Leonardo da Vinci himself? All right, is there anything that this guy did not do, first of all? All right, now there's no written record of him saying that he did 50 push-ups and 50 sit-ups and curls every single day, but it was well noted that anybody who met Leonardo knew that he was pretty tall, he was athletic, looking and he was known for having ridiculous strength and dexterity dude was basically a physical god i mean somebody who spends all day 
uh, studying anatomy and drawing people and whatnot, and you know all the scientific medical discoveries that he made. He knows about the body. He's not going to treat it like shit, right? He's going to treat his body like a temple, and that's what he did. All right. So, do artists even lift? Once again, short answer is most don't. But the real good ones, they do. Because they realize that achieving true greatness is through a triangle of perfection. Mind, body, and spirit. Right? As a warrior, we must train all three. Right? So, I hope you enjoyed today's video with a couple little quick facts about some random people. Hope you learned something. I'm Jared, Paintbrush Samurai.